If you like this type of content, please in the comment below just say present. That way I will get a good gauge of how many people are interested in this type of content so that way I can make more. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to top 20 CCNA certification questions with answers or examples if you will <laughs> by the way this is a real person not a robot i am a real person i assure you all right there's a lot to get through so let's just sit back relax and enjoy this video question number one what is the purpose of spanning tree protocol in a network stp prevents network loops for example if there is a redundant links between switches, STP blocks some of those links to ensure there is only one active path between switches. Question number two. What is the default administrative distance for directly connected interfaces on Cisco routers? The default administrative distance for directly connected interfaces is zero. For instance, if a router has an interface connected to a network, it will have an administrative distance of zero for that interface. Question number three. Which OSI layer handles logical addressing and routing? That would be the network layer three handles logical addressing and routing. For example, IP addresses are assigned at this layer and routers operate at this layer to forward packets based on IP addresses. Question number four. What is the role of a default gateway in a TCP IP network? The default gateway forwards network traffic between different networks. For instance, if a device on a local network wants to communicate with a device in a different network, it sends the traffic to the default gateway for forwarding. Question number five. Why are access control lists used in networking? ACLs are used to filter network traffic based on specific criteria. For example, an ACL can be configured to allow or deny traffic based on source IP addresses, destination ports, and protocols. I don't know why my voice is just randomly cracking. I don't know why. This is weird. I, I don't know. <laughs> Question number six. How does TCP differ from UDP? TCP provides reliable, ordered data delivery with error detection and retransmission. For example, when you download a file from a server, TCP ensures that all data packets arrive intact and in correct order. UDP, on the other hand, provides fast, unreliable data delivery without error detection or retransmission. It is often used for a real-time streaming or voice communication where occasional packet loss is acceptable. Question number seven. What does address resolution protocol do? ARP maps IP addresses to MAC addresses in a local network. For example, when a device wants to send a packet to another device in the same network, it uses ARP to determine MAC address of the destination device. Question number eight. What is the purpose of virtual local area networks? VLANs logically divide a network into separate broadcast domains. For example, in a large organization, different departments can be assigned to separate VLANs to improve security and control network traffic. Question number nine. How does static routing differ from dynamic routing? Static routing requires manual configuration of routing entries. For example, a network administrator can configure static routes on a router to specify the next hop for different networks. Dynamic routing protocols, on the other hand, automatically exchange routing information between routers. For instance, protocols like OSPF or EIGRP dynamically calculate the best paths for routing based on the network topology and update routing tables accordingly. Question number 10. What is a network address translation used for? NAT translates private IP addresses to public IP addresses and vice versa. 
For example, when multiple devices in a private network share a single public IP address to access the internet, NAT allows the translation of the private IP addresses to the public address. Question number 11. What is the purpose of Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, also known as DHCP? DHCP dynamically assigns IP addresses and network configuration to devices. For example, when a device connects to a network, it can request an IP address from a DHCP server, which will assign a unique IP address to that device. Question number 12. What does routing information protocol do? Our IP is a distance vector routing protocol that determines the best path to a network based on hop count. For example, if there are multiple paths to reach a destination network, our IP will choose the path with the fewest hops. Question number 13. What is the purpose of network time protocol? NTP synchronizes device clocks to a common time interface. For example, in a network with multiple devices, NTP ensures that all devices have the same accurate time for synchronization and coordination. Question number 14. What is the role of Internet Control Message Protocol? ICMP provides error reporting and troubleshooting functionality in a network. For example, when a ping request is sent from one device to another, ICMP is used to send an echo request and receive an echo reply indicating connectivity status between the devices. Number 15. What is the function of a router? Router forwards data packets between different networks based on logical addresses. For example, if a packet needs to travel from one network to another, a router will examine the destination IP address and determine the best path for forwarding the packets. Question number 16. What is the purpose of dynamic trunking protocol? DTP negotiates and automatically configures trunk lines between switches. For example, when two switches are connected with a trunk link, DTP helps establish the trunk link by exchanging the messages to determine if trunking is supported and configure the appropriate settings. What is the purpose of hot standby router protocol? HSRP provides gateway redundancy by allowing multiple routers to share a virtual IP and MAC address. For example, if a primary router fails, another router with HSRP configured takes over the virtual IP and the MAC address, ensuring uninterrupted network connectivity. Question number 18. Why is quality of service important in networking? QoS prioritizes and manages network traffic to ensure optimal performance for critical applications. For example, in a network where both devices and data traffic exist, QoS can be configured to give priority to voice traffic to ensure high quality voice calls. Question number 19. What does virtual router redundancy protocol provide? VRRP offers gateway redundancy by allowing multiple routers to act as a virtual router with a shared virtual IP address. For example, if the primary router fails, another router with VRRP configured takes over the virtual IP address, providing a redundant gateway for network devices. Question number 20. What is the purpose of Secure Shell Protocol? SSH provides secure remote management of network devices through encryption and authentication. For example, network administrator can use SSH to securely access and manage routers, switches, and other devices remotely, preventing unauthorized access and data interception. Please note that these examples are provided to illustrate the concepts. It's important to study the CCNA topics in depth and refer to official study material for comprehensive preparation for the certification exam.
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like it, share it with friends, share it with people that you know that need this type of content and this type of education. It's free. It's 100% free. And I hope you come back and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Take care. Bye-bye.